certainly been feeling like fall these fast few while it may be enjoyable it can be miserable for some people as it is typically the worst time for those suffering from allergies wdhn's robert smith has the story has arrived but if you suffer from seasonal allergies the change of season can be discomforting dr scott charlton an ear nose and throat specialist in enterprise has begun seeing an uptick in patients we love the this time of the year it's 70 degrees outside went on out to at lunch but um, we start getting the tail end of our spring allergy seasons running into our fall allergy seasons during this time of the year ragweed is the most common allergen but the biggest allergen he sees patients suffering from is mold, which comes from the ground being turned over to harvest peanuts, especially when it's dry. Some of the symptoms that we see with inhaled allergens, uh, itchy watery eyes, runny nose, sinus drainage down the back of your throat, um, that can sometimes cause a feeling of a lump in the throat because there's always mucus there. Sometimes you can get skin rashes, uh, itchy skin rashes, uh, itchy throat, itchy ears. Dr. Charlton says there are medications you can get over the counter, like antihistamine, and if it's too severe, there's a prescribed nasal spray that reduces inflammation quickly. Overall, Charlton says the best thing to do is to get an allergy shot, which his office is administering. Although allergies are all year round, he says before November is usually the peak of allergy season. I tend to think of the peanut festival as kind of the end of the fall allergy season because for the most part, everybody, all the peanut crops have been pulled up. Um, but then it's a pretty short, maybe six, eight weeks before we get back into spring allergy season. Reporting in Enterprise, Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.